Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about my soccer training business that I started. This was back in 2009 and kind of where things are right now. And I know if you clicked on this video, it's the three reasons how I charge more money than any competitor in my city. And what I want to do here is I, I'm not using this to brag or to show how cool I am because I'm not that cool at all. Um, what I've done is I've just gone very deep into understanding uh, what my clients want and how to price things out and how to offer a great service, right? And that needs to be the disclaimer before I go into this. Now, the thing that you need to know also is I didn't start off my business where I started charging a lot. Like if you know my story, I did everything for free at the beginning and then I started charging like $15 per session. Uh, I didn't know how to value my, my training program. I didn't know really what I was selling. So I sold it for a very low amount, uh, which is pretty normal for new business owners. And this is why at the top left corner, all right, this is reason number one, the reason why I can charge more than any competitor in my city, it's because of the experience at this point, right? I've been in this game way longer than the average coach that tries to start a business. Um, or maybe they've been in business for three or four years. I have almost two to three times as much experience as them. So I've had more sales calls. I've had uh, more clients that I've worked with. Um, I put myself in more situations to market and sell my program than they have. So if I have an upper hand on my um, competitors, it's because one of the reasons is because I have more experience, right? I have more experience, but I've also spent the time to learn marketing and sales. This is something most coaches don't do. They, they just rely on their coaching ability to think that they can get more clients. That is not the case. I know some great coaches in my area. They don't have any clients or they have very few clients. All right, they did not take the time to learn marketing and sales. And this is the thing. When I say experience, it's not just experience with coaching. It's experience with marketing, sales, um, building relationships, talking with people, building authority. Those things happen with experience. That does not happen overnight. And it doesn't matter to me if you're running Facebook ads all day long. You get experience. Uh, experience only comes with experience. <laughs> right? That, that takes time. All right? That's the first thing. The second I understand clearly what the objectives of, of the clients and the results that I want to, to get with them. So really what I mean by that, um, it didn't sound clear at all when I just said that. <laughs> uh, but what I mean by that is I'm super dialed in with what my clients want, right? Before they work with me, I know what they want. And my goal, my job is to help them get that, period. I don't just bring someone on and then try to figure out what they want. I know what they want before they sign up and they only sign up if I know I can deliver results, right? So it, it's almost like the cheat codes. Like I'm not going to let someone join my program unless I know I can help them, right? Otherwise I shouldn't be helping them. It's a huge waste of their money if I'm not clear on, in understanding what the objectives are here with, with what the results are. That is on me. I'm the business owner. I decide who I work with, right? And that's very important for you to understand if you want to raise your pricing if you want to make your program better all those things are possible you need to understand the objectives of your clients what are the results you want to to get with them that that needs to be very clear over the phone call with the parents right and again i only am really clear on that because i have a lot of experience right and i can tell you uh, at this point this is a hint your training program has nothing to do with your coaching ability. It has everything to do with if your clients get results or not. That's it. Then the only way they will stay in your program is if they're getting results. And it's all based on how the athlete feels about themselves too, right? That is something that has nothing to do with the, the drills that you do or how cool you are on Instagram. None of that matters. It matters if your clients get results, right? And to give you an example of this, like I wouldn't be doing these videos on YouTube unless my clients that I've worked with that have paid and invested into my consulting programs are actually like getting results. I would have given up on this so long ago. There's no way I'd spend the time every week to shoot YouTube videos, 
right? I was very clear and I, and I understand what the objectives of my clients are. They want to <laughs> make more money. They want to get more clients. That's what, that's my bread and butter, right? Now, next one here, hearing no doesn't phase me. So th this is only comes with experience too. A lot of coaches are so afraid to raise their pricing because they don't want to be rejected and let that sink in. The reason why you are, are not raising your price right now is because you don't want to hear the words, no, it's too expensive or no, we can't commit to that. Hearing no doesn't phase me one bit. All right. And here's why it's because I know what my numbers are. I know if I, I'm just going to give you a simple example. I know if I have X amount of sales calls per week, X amount of people are, are going to sign up for my program if I've qualified them. So hearing no should be actually normal. No is, is the default. Yes. Or for people who are really serious. Right. And this is what I've realized. You've heard me probably say this in other videos. If your program is really cheap, you're always going to attract the worst customers. Like, I, I mean, I hate saying that, but that's, that's the truth. Like, you're always going to attract the worst customers, the lower your prices, the higher your prices, the less customer support you have, the more committed your clients are, the less, uh, back and forth emails you have, like your clients will respect your time so much more when they pay you more money, right? And you have to be willing to hear the words no when you are trying to scale your price, All right? Something just happened here with my desktop. Let me see if I can get this back. All right, here we go. And that's the thing is if you're afraid to hear no, you're not going to raise your price because your ego's in the way, right? And if you know your numbers, then hearing no shouldn't phase you. And I think the easiest example I can give you, if you go on Google and you type in best batting percentage in Major League Baseball history, right? I'm sure that person struck out more than, than they hit home runs or hit singles or doubles, whatever. I'm not a baseball guy, but I can promise you they failed more than they succeeded. So your sales calls should be the same way right? So hearing no is fine. All right. Now that's it for today's video. I hope this helps. And I wanted to give you some insight on my business. This is how I operate. Like, uh, and I operate this, this way too, like with coaches that I work with, I don't have like a cheap, like crappy program, right? I have a program that gets results and I can only help people that I know that not only need the help, but they're willing to do the work. So if you're watching this and you're like, serious about growing your business, I have to, you know, take one of these two steps, go to my website here, buildmysportsbiz.com or text me at that phone number. It's on the screen, 210-960-5771. Every single day, coaches hit me up from these YouTube videos or my newsletter. Um, I have been unbelievably consistent over the last five, six years uplo uh, uploading videos here. I'm not going to stop up uploading videos here. This will always be free on YouTube, but if you want more one-on-one -on -one help, best way to do that is just reach out to me. All right. Shoot me a text or go to my website. We have done for you programs there. We have consulting options. There's a lot that we offer at this point. Um, go check it out. And uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. See you later.